Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Saeed Abdul Juma. So today inshallah we'll continue with another form one topic which is algebra. Let's continue with this one. Solving equations with two unknown variables or sometimes we call it simultaneous equations. We have already discussed on how to solve equations which have one unknown variable. Now we move to, to the solving of equations which have more than one variables or simply called simultaneous equations. The equations which have more than one variables or more than one unknown variables. So, simultaneous equations simply can be defined as the equation containing multiple variables. It means contain more than one variables. Simultaneous equations are both equations, are all equations which have more than one unknown variables. These are examples of simultaneous equations. Because if you consider example number one, example number one, there, there are two unknowns, which is x and y. Also, if you consider on example number two, also there are two unknowns, variables, which is x and y. And also, if you consider example number three, there are two unknowns also, which is a and b. That's why we call them simultaneous equations, or equations which have more than one unknown variables. So, how we can solve these equations which have more than one variable? We always use two methods, which is by elimination method and by substitution method. So, if you want to solve equations which have more than one unknown variable, we always use two methods, which is by elimination method and by substitution method. So now let's do example on how we can solve simultaneous equation or on how we can solve equations which have more than one variable. So let's start with Roman 1, which we are required to find the value of x and y. So Roman 1, given that x plus y equal to, equal to 7, also given that x minus y equal to 1, x minus y equal to 1. So now, let's solve it and in order to solve simultaneous equation, as I said, we'll use two methods. We'll use two methods, either by elimination method or by substitution method. So, I mean, the first example, we'll use it, I mean, we'll use elimination method. And in the second example, we'll use substitution method. So, let's solve it, the first one, I mean, by elimination method. So, elimination method always involving the elimination process involving the elimination process or the elimination of any of the variable in order to get the value of another variable. So you can eliminate either y or you can eliminate either x. So you can eliminate either x in order to get y or you can eliminate y in order to get x. So let's eliminate y. So if you want to eliminate y just Add these two equations. So if you add these two equations, we'll get x plus x plus y minus y equal to 7 plus 1. 7 plus 1. So we'll get 2x, y minus y equal to 0, 7 plus 1, 8. 8. So we need to find x, so let's divide both sides by 2. 
both side by 2 so we we'll get x equal to 8 divided by 2 equal to 4 now now let's move we have already got the value of x now let's use this value of x to find the value of y so in order to get the value of y we are i mean we are required to use any of the equation we are required to use any of the equation either this equation or this equation so let's use this the second equation which is which is x minus y equal to 1 so we have already got x equal to 4 minus y equal to 1 so let's shift this number 4 to, our, to the right hand side so here it will remain minus y equal to 1 minus 4 because it's for its sign will change because it changed the position so minus y will be equal to 1 minus 4 equal to minus 3 so y will be equal to 3 so we got x equal to 4 and y equal to 3 and y equal to 3 so now let's do let's move to roman 2 let's move to roman 2 so now let's do example concerning on how we can solve simultaneous equation or how we can solve equation which have more than one variable and on this example we have roman 1 and roman 2 so roman 1 will solve it by using elimination method and Roman 2 will solve it by using substitution method. So let's start with Roman 1. Let's start with Roman 1. We are given x plus y equal to 7, x minus y equal to 1. So we will solve these equations by using elimination method. And elimination method always involving the elimination process. So we can either eliminate x to get y or we can eliminate y to get x. Let's call them this one, let's call it equation number one and that one, let's call it equation number two. So let's eliminate y. So if you want to eliminate y, we should add equation one by two. So let's add equation one by two. So if you add equation by 2, we will get x plus x plus y minus y equal to 7 plus 1. So x plus x equal to 2x, y minus y equal to 0. So it will be equal to 7 plus 1 equal to 8. So if you divide by 2, divide by 2 because we want to find x. So x will be equal to this one 8. So x will be equal to 4. So we got x equal to 4. So now let's find y. And y can be obtained by using any of the equation. Can be obtained by using any of the equation. So let's take this equation. Um, second equation which is x minus y equal to 1. But we have already got x equal to 4. So 4 minus y equal to 1. So let's shift this 4 to the right hand side. So it will be 1 minus 4 because its sign will change. Here has positive sign but if you send it to another side its sign will change from positive to negative. So we'll have minus y equal to minus 3. So y will be equal to 3. So the answer will be equal to equal to 3. So we get x equal to 4 and y equal to 3. So we get x equal to 4 and y equal to 3. So for today, we'll end up here. Let's miss again next lesson, inshallah. Thank you.